Hello YouTube. Um, today I want to show you how to make these coasters. I've been working on some and I kind of saw uh, one like this online and kind of copy it a little bit you know um, I tried different kinds and I like this this one you know it's a coaster is like a doily you know like a small doily you start with the whatever circle flower you want to do in the middle and then you start working you know around so that's pretty much what I did um, I chose a dark color for the middle because you know when you put your cup on top I forgot to grab a cup to show you but anyways when you grab a cup uh, it goes in the middle you know and if it gets coffee or tea you'll be you won't be able to see it that much um, I love this combo right here brown and aqua okay so it's pretty easy uh, you're gonna need a size 5 um, needle and of course uh, cut and thread size 10 and um, I chose gray for the middle and this is like uh, light blue for the outside um, so you're gonna leave a tail of about uh, 24 inches I have some beads on my thread now because I'm gonna use them is because I have another project I want to do um, so I just put in some beads so you're gonna start with oh before I continue you're gonna need 13 petals on your flower okay and, and um, when you're done with that flower you're gonna have to cut your thread and then you're gonna have to start on the outside so I will show you how to do that uh, let's do five double stitches Uh, pico five double stitches um, let me lower my camera a little more oh, I can lower it no more uh, no okay uh, five double stitches pico five double stitches and then another pico and through three double stitches, two, three, another pico, three double stitches, another pico, and three double, actually five double stitches, sorry. Okay. So you have five pico, five pico, three pico, three pico, five, and one more pico, and five double stitches. Okay, so we're gonna close our ring. to the loop close that ring reverse your work do a little knot okay so that's our first ring now we're gonna do a small chain very small um, I tried doing two double stitches in, two, in both sides. You can if you want. I'm just gonna do one. So I'm just gonna do one pick, one double stitch, and then a pico. And when I finish my pico, that's gonna be my next double stitch. So just, just like that. Very easy. Double stitch, pico, double stitch. 
Okay, you can do two double stitches, pico, do two double stitches. Okay, so it depends what you want in the center. And I haven't hardened this, so um, it will look better when I harden it because then all those picos will be sticking out and and the, and the chains will look the way that they're supposed to be looking. So finish up the chain and you gotta be careful with this because it's very small so make sure you're closing that chain good not leaving any thread in each side so it's gonna look kind of loose and it won't look nice so reverse your work do a little knot Just like that. See, it's a very small chain. And you can pull at the pico a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna do another ch another ring. So the same amount of stitches as the first one. Five double stitches. Okay. And we're gonna join to this pico right here okay just like that five double stitches and we're gonna join one more time And the reason I'm joining twice is because I want my I want my rings to be together nicely. I made another one. I don't have it here. Oof, little ant, go that way. Um, so I did not join, and they were more separated, and I did not like it. But if you want, you can try it. You know, you might like it. But I. I didn't really like it so we join now three double stitches pico three double stitches another pico and five double stitches two Pico, five double stitches. Okay, so these are going to be, you're always going to have two picos at the top. Because those picos are the ones that are going to help us join our rings. These rings right here, okay? And then you're always going to have these two picos on the side to either join you know, or at the beginning you have those two. Uh, like right now, like you have these two that you join, and then these two for our next row, and then, um, yes, these two for our next row, and then this one to join. Um, I'm trying to see if I didn't make a mistake. One, two, three, four, five. So you should have five picos. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so five double stitches. Oh, there's a bunch of ants and they're biting me. Let me just recap. Five double stitches join. Five double stitches join. Three pico. Three pico. Actually, I need. I need to go back. So three pico. I need one more. Sorry. So five double stitches join. Five double stitches join. Three double stitches pico. Three double stitches pico. And then three double stitches. I'm sorry. I'm a little confused right now. And then, and then five double stitches.
one, two, three, four, five, pico, five double stitches. Okay, so yeah, I was missing one. I apologize for that. Um, oh, I'm getting eat up by these sands. <laughs> um, yeah, so I apologize. So you should have two where you're going to join and two where you're going to use later. So I apologize for that. Uh, let's close the ring. And make a ladder another little chain reverse your work make a little knot one double stitch pico and one double stitch very easy just like that reverse your work Okay, now let's do another uh, ring together. Five double stitches. Now we're gonna join. So you all, you're gonna join twice on each ring. Five double stitches. Okay, so after you join the second time, you should have two picos left on your previous ring. That's how you're going to know if you did it the right way. Because earlier I, I had, you know, a moment where I was like, what? Okay, so you should know if you don't have that, then you have to undo it and do it again. So three double stitches. Pico, three double stitches, pico, three double stitches, pico, five double stitches. One more pico and five double stitches. So here we go. So after you join to those two picots from your previous ring, like I said before, you should have four picots on your needle before you close. Okay? So close your ring. And I'm going to make just one more ring just so I don't confuse you. Because <laughs> I feel like I confused at the beginning. Reverse your ring. Make a little knot, do a small chain, pick, double stitch, pico, double stitch. Finish it. There you go. Reverse your work. And do another ring. Remember, you're going to need to make 13 rings. Five double stitches. Join. Five double stitches. Join to the next pico. Three double stitches. Pico. Three double stitches. 
pico, three double stitches, pico, five double stitches. One more pico and five double stitches. Just like this. Okay. And close your ring. And reverse your work. Do a little knot. And make another chain. So this is what we have. You need 14, 13, sorry, 13. And then you're going to have to join. But I'll come back when I'm ready to join. So, okay, so continue chatting. Be back. Bye. Okay, so I made my 12 rings. I'm about to do the 13th ring, which means we have to join to our first ring that we did. So, five double stitches. And every time you join, you close a, a flower, it kind of gets kind of tricky. I always get confused, so... I'm going to show you uh, how I do it. Uh, five double stitches. And join again. Three double stitches. Pico. Three double stitches, pico, and three double stitches. Three. Okay. So, you know, if we grab a flower, this we want it to be like this, right? This will be the ideal thing right that's what we want this is how it looks it's supposed to look like but the bad thing is we can't join like this to these picos on this side okay so what we're gonna do is gonna turn this like this so now we can join like this let me show you that again so you con if you want to connect your flower, it will be like this, right? This is how the flower looks like. But we can't do that. So you're going to grab this ring and turn it like this. Okay? Just like this. And then you're going to grab your needle and go into the next pico. Okay, but make sure your your thread is behind okay so now you're gonna join just like that okay five double stitches join because you always join to the left you know that's if you are righty that's what feels you know what the right way is it's kind of hard to join to the left like this so five double stitches okay and now you're gonna close your ring okay so this is how it should look like right now see that 
Okay. So here's our 12 ring. And we made our 13. And we joined to our first one. That always gets me every time. You know, I have to like really sit and think about how I'm going to close this last ring. Okay, so keep pulling. And there you go. See that? Perfect flower. Now, and now like this, close it like this. You're going to reverse your work like this. This is your tilt, <laughs> teardrop. <laughs> okay, and go through it. And pick a little knot. And start your last little chain. One double stitch and a pico and a double stitch. Finish up this chain. Just like that. Right? Where's your work? Make a knot. And okay, here it is. Right? like that so now you're gonna go you're gonna push the needle next to and the bottom actually the bottom of the first ring so just find a place right here to go in okay just at the bottom of that ring just wiggle it in just like that And make a knot, two knots actually, to secure it. One, two. Okay. And now it goes the center of our coaster. So I went ahead and brought a cup. So you can get an idea how it looks like. So this is it. And then you just put your cup in the middle. Just like that. And you just have all these beautiful edging around your coffee or tea cup. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love the way that looks. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna start with this part with the edging so go ahead and cut your cut your uh, thread from the ball okay leave a tail for you to weave in the ends I'm not gonna do that right now if you want to know how to weave in your ends I'll put a video link right here you just click on it and um, I'll do that after. So then we have our flower right there, just like this. Okay. Now thread your needle again with the gray color. My beads are getting on the way. Okay. So I'm going to thread my needle. Same size thread, same size needle. Leave around 24 inches again. As you can see, I got plenty of leftover to to weave in my end, which is good. You always gonna ha wanna have leftover instead of too little, which you can add thread, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna start with the small ring of two double stitches pico let me put that on the side two double stitches just like this okay now we're gonna 
join two. It's very easy. It's you're gonna be done in no time. Okay. Oh, okay. I forgot to do a, a pico there. Oh well. I'll figure something out. <laughs> okay, so you have your two picos in each ring of our flower, just like that. Two rings. I mean two picos. See? So what you're gonna do is just pick one, either this one or this one, okay? So I'm gonna do this one on the left. And I'm gonna go ahead and join. Just like this. Okay? Just like that. And I'm gonna do two double stitches. And one pico and two double stitches. Okay? Just like that. So we have our other pico on that side. Right? Right there. We only using one. And we're gonna close our ring. It's a very small ring. Okay. like that and then you're gonna reverse your work and we're gonna do a chain of six double stitches one pico and six double stitches Okay, so we have six double stitches, pico six double stitches. Okay, so now close, finish up your chain, just like that. Reverse your work, do a little knot, and now. We're gonna do another ring. So put your needle at the end of your chain, two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, and now we're gonna join. Okay, so I'm sorry, <laughs> trying to, I'm outside and I was trying to get this, the end out of my foot. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to skip one of our picos. you always going to skip one, okay, for this row. So I'm not going to do nothing here. I'm going to go on the next one. Okay, just like that. So ring, chain, and we skip in this little fella right here. And now two more double stitches. Pico and two double stitches. And close your ring. Just like that. Okay, reverse your work. Make a little knot and do another chain. Six double stitches. One pico. And six double stitches. Oops, six, not seven. <laughs> okay. Now to finish up that chain. Do 
just like that so if you can see the pattern now it's ring chain join to the next well you skip one pico and then the next so let's do that one more time together and then you can go have fun and finishing this one up and then I'll come back and show you how to do that the blue color that I'm gonna use so two double stitches pico two double stitches skip join to the next one two double stitches pico two double stitches this is what we have so far starting to look pretty okay now close your ring just like that reverse your work under the loop and you close it so here is what we have and you're gonna continue all the way around okay and then I'll meet you soon okay you guys I'm back as you can see I'm almost done with this row I just have to uh, make one more ring and one more chain so this is what we have so far okay so let's go ahead and I'm gonna make one one more ring two double stitches one pico two double stitches I'm skipping one and I'm going into the next one and Two double stitches. I guess the rooster is up late. <laughs> Not up late, but I mean he got up late because he's it's like almost ten o'clock and he's still outside making noise anyways. I'm trying to um, do this before the heat comes. It's been over a hundred degrees over here in California, so it's been very hot. Okay, so I made my ring, and now I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna reverse my work, just like this. And one more chain of six double stitches. pico and six more double stitches there we go okay I'm gonna reverse my work make a little knot and I'm gonna go right on top of my ring my first ring of this row just on top next to the other chain just like that okay just pull it through till the chain connects So it should look like this. You can't really see where it starts, just like beautiful. And you make two knots. One. Two very tight ones. 
and cut your thread from your ball. Make sure my beads don't come out. Okay. I'm not going to weave in my ends right now. I'll do it when the camera is not on because it will take too long. So now I'm going to grab my next color. Like I said, it's like a light blue. I just love this color combination. I hope it looks good. <laughs> so same size thread, size 10. Cotton thread, same needle. Size 5 needle. And leave a tail of about 24 inches. Okay. And these are just beads from... Just, I just put them on so when I feel like making something, they're already on there. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did in the previous row. So go ahead and start with the ring. So let me put this on the side. Two double stitches. Pico. And two double stitches. So what we're going to do, we're going to join to one of the pickles that we skipped. So right there. Okay, so right in that one. And we're going to work with all the ones that we skipped. So I'm just going to fold back my work so I can just see my, my pico. Okay, it's easier to work like that. So go ahead and join and do two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, just like that. I pull my tail up. Okay. Now close your ring. Reverse your work. I'm folding my work again because it's on the way. And now we're going to do a chain just like the pre previous row, but now with seven double stitches. Pico. And seven double stitches. Okay. Finish up that chain. Okay, just like this. And reverse your work. Do a little knot. Okay. So now the trick to this is that we don't want this to be on top like this. Because then it doesn't look nice. Right? We want the chain to go in the back. You know, like like a zigzag back and forth, back and forth. Because that makes it look nicer, right? So for your next next ring, you're gonna fold your work towards you, this chain towards you, so you can see your your pico. See? We're not gonna go like this and work in the front. We're gonna wanna work in the back of the work. So just go ahead and fold forward and do your ring so I should do my double stitches first right <laughs> so two double stitches pico two double stitches and this is where you fold it and you join okay 
just like that okay so we're going in the back two double stitches pico two double stitches so this is what it should look like okay so close your ring Reverse your work. Do a little knot. And let's do another chain. Seven double stitches. Pico. Seven double stitches. One. Finish up the chain. Just like that. Reverse your work. Do a little knot. And this is how it looks like. You see that? I sorry. Ah. Okay. Now we're going to work on the front one. So now we want our chain to go in the front. So all you got to do is now fold. Well, let's do the two double stitches first. <laughs> so do, let's do two double stitches. Pico, two double stitches. Okay. So now we want our ring to go forward like that. So. Now you're gonna fold this chain back, just like that, and join to the pico, just like that, and two double stitches, pico, two double stitches. So that's your pattern for this row. Okay, you just have to make sure it goes back and forth. See that? So reverse your work. Okay. So when you make the next chain, you want it to go in the front. So you're going to have to either fold your chain forward or back. Okay. So that's how it should start looking like. Okay. So continue doing this, this and then um, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. So I'm back and I'm almost done with this coaster. Um... So I just need one more ring and a chain to connect. So two double stitches. Pico, two double stitches. And I'm gonna, since this one's in the back, I'm going in the front. So I'm gonna go just like this. And two double stitches, pico, two double stitches, and I close my last ring, and reverse my work, okay. And 
seven double stitches. Pico, seven double stitches. Okay. Finish that, reverse your work. Little knot to secure your work. So now, I want to go behind that ring, right? So we have to join. We don't want it in the front. We want it behind. Right? So I'm going to push my ring back just like that so I have access to it. And I'm just going to go right on top of the ring. Just right in there. And I'm going to make a nut. See that? Perfect. I'll make a nut. Make another nut. And we finish with our little coaster. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for all my new subscribers and for all your likes and all your comments. Um, I've been very busy lately. I, I haven't been able to put as many videos as I want, but I have the summer up, so I'm hoping to um, get some tutorials done and um, be able to put more up so thank you for watching and happy tatting